Hi you guys. Um, topic of the day is more of an update of the day. I will tell you that after I was done vlogging and got all my stuff out, like I felt significantly better. Like Sunday I woke up like a new person, like I was out of my funk. So writing for me, like I know is my go-to when I feel like I'm in a funk. So, um, yeah, it's just amazing what some, you know, something simple can do to get you out of a rut when you're feeling it. But I did, I woke up Sunday, I had a ton of energy. I had a lot of energy yesterday. Um, like slowly declining, but not like, um, feeling sad, just more like I'm like really tired, but, um, yeah. And it's been pretty nice outside. So that kind of helps. Um, it's was cold and dreary last week and, uh, this week it's like nice and warm so I can have my door open and listen to my wind chimes, which is very relaxing while I work. And then the wind's picking up so I can see those curtains that I fell off a step stool to hang up um, as they like wave by. So it's very relaxing. It's very relaxing. So writing and fresh air always helps. So it's my update. And also I'm very excited because we are going to Arizona um, and I saw that it's going to be like 100 degrees and I'm so happy about that because I think I'm a lizard and I thrive in heat and my poor husband will have to go through the whole song and dance again um, everywhere we travel and like we're, we're moving here. So I know that probably get mentioned when we go there that like we need to move away and I'll get turned down so I mean we live in a very pretty area it's very nice but um winter time sucks and I don't like looking at naked trees and just a gray blah background and then when you open the door in the winter, feeling hits your face and you like brace up. Ugh, I'm just, I'm like dreading it. I'm thinking like, I know I'm telling you I'm out of my rut and here I am talking about like being in a rut with winter because I'm like preparing myself for this. But thankfully, um, my big corporation that I work for is having us work from home until the end of December and then they're going to reevaluate. So hopefully I don't get to see winter. Hopefully they have us come back in the spring. So I think we had to fill out a survey today asking about how we felt. I need to make sure that I, I mentioned that it's too, too, too many illnesses go on during the winter anyways. Why risk putting everyone in when everyone's going to look at you? like your suspect for coronavirus because I will tell you like my allergies have been bad. I don't know if you notice like I like have like sniffles here and there. My allergies are awful and so like when I'm at the store I'm sneezing and everyone's looking at me like I'm the grim reaper and I'm like allergies, allergies. You can just look at my car and you can see all this stuff is on top of it. So weird world. But anyways, back to the topic. What are things that you do to help you get out of a funk? I mentioned that writing really helped. I did not realize how much it did until I finished my blog like late Saturday, technically Sunday morning. Um, I finished it and I just felt so much better. 
So, you know, some people do art, some people do crafts, some people like to go on a run, um, some people like to work out. So if there's anything that you do that helps, make a comment below and maybe that might help other people. Um, for me personally, it's just, it's writing. So what may work for me might not work for you, um, but you know, just in case anyone's out there lost, you know, maybe us stroke survivors can help someone out by uh, giving suggestions. So anyways, I hope that you are having a good day and I don't know if I will be doing any video topics until next week. So... I have a very long meeting tomorrow. It's like an all day meeting. All day. And then after that, I need to start packing. So I'm so happy. So you get a break from me for about a week or so. But anyways, if you feel like suggesting anything, note it below, just in case someone stumbles across and is like, I'm looking for something. So for me, it's writing. And you know what? It doesn't even have to be my blogs. There's a lot of stuff I write that I don't even publish. So just thought I would lay that out there. There's some stuff I just kind of note down real quick about how I'm feeling. And then, you know, done and over with and I feel much better. So you don't need after, you don't have to be afraid. Okay, before I go off many other topics, have a good night, guys.